welcome viewers to another episode in a series of episodes that are focused on extensive revision of the August 2023 Mathematics Paper 1. So if you haven't seen other episodes, please go to our YouTube channel and check for playlists that contains these extensive revision of each and every question from this paper. So questions are grouped in according to the paper and the topics. This it's important for you, especially if you are struggling with a specific topic. You go to a specific topic, you find a series of questions from different papers as far as 2017. Let us look at question 14. In the diagram, three points A, B and C are on the level ground. The bearing of B from A is 0, 35 degrees. Angle ABC equals 90 degrees and angle ACB equals 40 degrees. Find the bearing of A from C. So it's A from C. So we need to come to C and draw a north because it's A from C. So we are standing from point C then we turn all the way up to where we have uh, A. So we come here, draw the north, and we turn. This is how we are turning. So this is the principle that we use. So what do we know? So if this angle is 35, for last to be able to find the bearing of A from C, we need to know this angle. So that we take out 40 plus this angle, which I'll call X, from 360, which is a complete circle. We know from here to here, this is 180 degrees. Then we know this angle, which is here, this angle is 90. So we know this angle which is here. So if this is 90 and the sum of all the angles in a triangle equals 180. So 180 minus 90 is 90 minus this 40 is 50. So this angle should be 50 degrees. So now we know that angle. Then what else can we find out? We know that this one, 35 plus 50 is 85. So this all angle is 85. So it's not equal to 90. So C is not east of A. It's not because this is just adding up to 85. So next, what we can do is we might need to draw a line here. Extend the north. So once we extend the north, we know that this angle, they are parallel, so this angle should be 35 degrees because these two lines are parallel. If this is 35, this should be 35 degrees. Then 35 from 90, this angle should be 35 from 90, this angle should be 55 degrees. If that angle is 55 degrees, it means this angle X here is also 55 because these are all north. So the bearing of A from C gives us now 360 degrees, which is the entire circle. Then to find this up to here, we need to, to take out 40 then and 55. So, when we divide that, we are going to end up with 265 because this is 95, so it will be 360 minus 95. So, this will be 5, 10 minus 5 is a 5, 5 minus 9 is too small, so this remains 2, then we put there 15 minus 9 is 6, so we have 265. So the bearing of A from C is 265 degrees. Pardon, this 265 65 degrees. That's for M. 
Then for B, A from B, which is the bearing of A from B. So, we are going to stand at B and turn in this direction. So, how many degrees are we turning? So, we know from here to here is 180. Then, we are going up beyond 180 by 35. So, what this tells me is now we have 118 plus 35. So, when you sum this, what are we getting? We are getting 5. Then, 8 plus 3 is 11. Then, we have 215. So, 215 is the bearing of A from B. Take note, from, so this is where we turn from. The second, this is where we turn from. You need to do a north there and the rotate degrees until you meet the line that is moving you to A from B. Similarly, here we turn from at C until we meet the line that is going to A. In that case, you are assured of getting good marks. So this is how you answer this question to get the four marks.